I've got to go to the hospital and pick up my check. I'll ride with you. I need to stop and see my grandma. Sure. First, I need to stop by the university and drop off my grant application. Is your brother still applying for the fall? Yep. Got a partial soccer scholarship. His youth league won nationals. He's still working part-time at the animal shelter for book money, though. Do you smell that? Yeah. What? What is that? I think it's him. During a recent meeting of nonprofit agencies at the Capitol, the question was asked, what would happen to our communities if all nonprofits closed their doors? As nonprofits serve to improve the quality of people's lives, who would step forward if they all closed? Who would feed the homeless, care for the elderly, provide health services, protect our homes, or educate our children? The film will educate audiences using dramatic real-life scenarios surrounding a middle-income family of four when they wake up to a day without nonprofit services. This Twilight Zone world promises to provoke important conversations, both at community and governmental levels. The story will be told through the lives of everyday Americans and the agencies serving their communities. A coalition with members from agencies throughout Kentucky, including the University of Kentucky Nonprofit Leadership Initiative, Christian Appalachian Project, the Alive Center, LexLink, Kentucky Educational Television, and the United Way, as well as production personnel from around the nation, have come together to develop and promote the concept. Long term, the film aims to create an ongoing awareness campaign for nonprofit agencies throughout Kentucky and the United States. The No More Nonprofits Consortium is looking to public and broadcast television, the internet, an international film festival tour, and DVD video as distribution channels. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not. What your country can do for you, and what you can do for your country. The film project has partnered with the Bluegrass Community Foundation, providing donors with flexible, efficient, and tax-effective ways to ensure their charitable giving achieves the greatest possible impact. But we still need a lot of help and funding. The Production Coalition is currently seeking fundraisers, volunteers, investors, grant writers, and sponsors. Many people I know would be dead. Tons of people on the street begging. You'd have individuals. I think everyone's life would be a lot worse. Crime rates would go up. Housing values would go down. Chaos. I mean, if there was no hospital well, or fire, police, anything. People care like, about each other. I think a lot of people take nonprofits for granted. None of what Kelly and I mentioned in the opening dialogue of this presentation would exist in the fictitious every town community shown in the film. We recently took our cameras out into your community to find out exactly how much people knew about the nonprofit services in your area. You might be surprised to see what we found out. Most depend on individual donor base. By making people think they have a lot of money so that they donate on donations and uh, volunteer activities. Nonprofits are able to sustain their programs in general through sheer luck. People such as myself and you have to contribute and have to volunteer. And um, give me the hard one. one. 
hospice of the bluegrass. And I could name them. I don't know if I can say their exact names. I'm sure there are a lot of them that I can't think of locally. Yeah, all very valuable to the society. Exactly. So no, I guess I can't name them exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure I know one, but I don't know it's nonprofit. So how can you help? Just get involved. We've got press releases available, one-page treatments on the project, and a great website with more video to watch. Visit nomorenonprofits.com and be sure and sign up for our email list or join the coalition. Just spreading excitement about this project will go a long ways toward greenlighting it for production.